Ricky, how's the training camp been going so far? Yeah, been really pleased actually, it's been excellent. Um, I think with the amount of players that we have, um, we've got a group of 17s and a group of under 19s if you like, uh, that are over, who have integrated really, really well, which has been really pleasing from my point of view. Um, because they knew each other before, but I think these two weeks gives them a really good opportunity to, to integrate and get to know each other um, really well. Their discipline has been fantastic. Um, just just listening to some of the boys round about the hotel, just speaking to the staff, speaking to other people round about the hotel, and you know they've been polite, they've been well mannered, which you know is a good sign for the, the type of characters that we're trying to bring up in in St. Lund stuff. In terms of the, the training content, what have you been doing with the lads so far? It, it's been it's been an intense two weeks. Um, it's been an intense period so far, including a game. Um, the daily program which Kev touched on, on earlier, but from my point of view, the daily programme, they're up early for breakfast, around about 8 o'clock, um, they, they go and do prehab exercises, they do they have their core uh, work to, to go through, their, their routine of core work to go through, that the strength conditioning coach put into place, um, and also, not every day, but um, once, twice a week, they'll do their strength and conditioning programme, which is really just a, um, an offshoot of what they do, back home, they do, have, they do have those programmes back home. In this scenario, um, in the condensed two weeks that we have, it's a good opportunity to, to get them doing that sort of work as well. But it's got to fit around the technical and tactical work that we do. Um, we normally start training, uh, we do two pitch sessions per day, um, one in the morning, one kind of later on in the afternoon. In the morning, generally, uh, it's more of a high tempo session, geared towards technical work. Um, practical elements of the game, working on 3-5-2 more game related practices um, in relation to how we want the game to be played. Afternoon is more specifically tactical work, um, we'll maybe do more, it's a bit more low key, um, the intensity is a bit more lower, uh, we'll maybe do some work towards the goal or maybe some defensive shaping uh, in the particular formation that, that we're looking to play um, in, in, the, in the upcoming game. Good. Over the, the course of the two weeks, what are you looking for the boys to, to get out of the experience here in Turkey? Well, like I said, the, the two weeks is a condensed period of training and we've got to maximise that. As coaches, we must make sure that we maximise it. We need to look after them physically and we make sure they do the recovery uh, after every training session. So Kevin puts on full recovery every day around about four o'clock, which you know, is vital. It's vital for the players to recover so that they're in tip-top shape. Um, for the for the next day's training or the next day's game, um, really the two weeks is part of the bigger picture of St. Mun, um, where we have one of the best academies in Scotland. I don't think there's a doubt about that. Uh, and this two weeks gives us a chance to to get our uh, elite players who are nearly there at that first team level to get them together, get them in a uh, confined area if you like, and treat them like adults, give them the respect that they, they, they deserve. Um, but also put on a program that's going to develop them, develop them quickly in a short space of time. So when they go back to Ralston and the training ground, they're ready to go and kick on again. We had a really good workout yesterday against a lower league Turkish team. Do we have any more games planned? Yeah, that, I, I was really pleased with that. Uh, I think some of the guys were a bit, not concerned, but they were a bit um, apprehensive certainly about what type of team this Turkish side were. They were certainly they were men, they were more physical. Considering we had uh, you know, 16, 17, 18 year olds yeah. uh, on the pitch that day, I thought the, 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 the work ethic and the fundamentals of the game that we, we speak about, you know, energy and hard working and being a good teammate, um, were, were there for everybody to see. I got some really good feedback from some of the local people and some of the people who work in the hotel who watched the game and said that you know our discipline was fantastic and you know the boys were a real credit to, to St Mum. Um, I've organised a game next week um, against the Kazakhstan Premier League team, again another senior team, which will be a test. Um, these guys are, are, are more experienced players than our kids, albeit not in a massive league, but they're professional players, they're professional senior players, so it will be a test. Um, but I, I feel I would get more value out of that um, than going playing, um, you know, uh, you know, one or two other kind of younger sides certainly. Yep. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see if that that transpires. But at the moment, it looks like we've got that game confirmed uh, for next week. So I'm looking for the boys and myself are looking forward to that. Good. Thanks very much. No problem.